Cryptids Untold. Alaska, a land where the raw, untamed beauty of nature is on full display. A land of rugged beauty, shrouded in mystery. Here the mountains rise like ancient sentinels, guarding secrets that have been whispered through the ages. Towering glaciers pierce the sky, their icy peaks glistening under the sun. While ancient forests whisper secrets in the wind, their dense canopies hiding stories untold. This untamed wilderness is home to creatures both majestic and terrifying. From the mighty grizzly bear to the elusive lynx, each step into the forest is a step into the unknown. But none are as unsettling, as steeped in chilling legend, as the Kushtaka. This creature part man, part otter, is said to roam these lands, a shapeshifter with a dark purpose. The Tlingit people, indigenous to southeast Alaska, have passed down tales of this creature for generations. Their stories are rich with the history and culture of their people, and the Kushtaka is a central figure in their lore. They speak of a being that haunts the waterways and forests, a shapeshifter that preys on the unsuspecting. It is said to lure its victims with cries that mimic those of a distressed child or a loved one in need. Its name sends shivers down the spines of even the bravest souls. The mere mention of the Kushtaka is enough to instill a deep sense of dread. It is the Kushtaka, the land otter man, a creature that blurs the line between human and animal, reality and myth. Imagine the icy breath of the Alaskan wilderness against your face, the cold seeping into your bones as the wind howls through the trees. The mournful cry of a loon echoes across the water, a haunting sound that only adds to the eerie atmosphere. You are alone, surrounded by a beauty that is as captivating as it is unforgiving. The vastness of the landscape makes you feel small, insignificant. It's in this environment, where nature reigns supreme and shadows hold their breath, that the legend of the Kushtaka takes root. The dense forests and misty waterways provide the perfect backdrop for such a creature to exist. Stories of the Kushtaka are not mere campfire tales to frighten children. They are deeply ingrained in the culture and history of the Tlingit people. They are warnings woven into the fabric of Tlingit culture. Elders share these stories to teach and protect, to ensure that the knowledge of the Kushtaka is never forgotten. They speak of a very real danger that lurks in the wild, a predator that craves more than just flesh and bone. The Kustaka is said to steal the souls of its victims, leaving them lost and wandering. It craves the very essence of what makes us human. In the heart of the Alaskan wilderness, where the line between reality and legend blurs, the Kustaka remains a haunting presence, a reminder of the mysteries that still lie hidden in the untamed wild. The Kushtaka is a master of disguise. It can take on any form it desires, shifting between shapes with terrifying ease. This ability to transform is not just a simple trick. It is a profound and unsettling power that allows the Kushtaka to blend seamlessly into its surroundings, making it nearly impossible to detect. One moment it might appear as a harmless otter, sleek and playful, its fur glistening in the sunlight. The otter form is particularly deceptive, as it plays on the natural curiosity and affection humans have for these charming creatures. The next, it could morph into a towering humanoid figure, its eyes glowing with an eerie light. This form is designed to instill fear, to paralyze its prey with terror before it strikes. But the Kushtaka's most dangerous weapon is its voice. This voice is not just a sound, it is a tool of manipulation, a siren call that preys on the deepest fears and desires of those who hear it. It can perfectly mimic the cries of a baby, a sound that triggers an instinctive response in humans to offer help and protection. The pleas for help from a loved one, a sound that can break through the strongest resolve and compel action. Or the friendly greetings of a fellow traveler, a sound that can disarm suspicion and create a false sense of security. This cunning mimicry lures unsuspecting victims into its clutches. The Kushtaka uses these sounds to draw people away from safety, leading them deeper into the wilderness where it can strike. Those who hear its calls often find themselves drawn irresistibly towards danger, helpless to resist its hypnotic summons. The power of its voice is such that it can override the natural instincts of self-preservation. Imagine yourself lost in the vast wilderness, the air thick with mist and the sound of your own heartbeat. The isolation and the unknown amplify every sound, every shadow, making the presence of the Kushtaka even more terrifying. Suddenly you hear a familiar voice calling your name, 
The relief you feel is immediate, a lifeline in the midst of your fear. Relief washes over you but, as you turn towards the sound, a chill runs down your spine. Something about the voice is not quite right, a subtle wrongness that sets your nerves on edge. The voice is too perfect, too close, yet you can't quite place its source. The Kushtaka is near. This realization brings a new wave of fear, as you understand that you are not alone, and that the creature is watching you. Its ability to shapeshift and mimic sounds, makes the Kushtaka, a phantom, a nightmare lurking just beyond the reach of reason. It is a creature that exists on the edge of reality, a being that defies the natural order. It is a chilling reminder that in the Alaskan wilderness, things are not always as they seem. The Kushtaka embodies the unknown, the fear of what lies beyond the familiar, and the danger that can come from the most unexpected places. In this vast and untamed land, the Kushtaka is a symbol of the mysteries that still elude our understanding, a reminder that nature holds secrets that are both wondrous and terrifying. The Kushtaka is a cunning predator, and its methods are as varied as its forms. It doesn't rely on brute strength alone. Instead, it weaves elaborate traps, playing on the hopes and fears of its prey. One of its most common tricks is to lure victims to the water's edge. The sound of splashing and playful calls might suggest a group of otters, but it's a ruse. As the unsuspecting person approaches, the Kushtaka strikes, dragging them into the icy depths. Another tactic involves mimicking the cries of a child, lost, in the woods. The compassionate instinct to help proves fatal, leading victims deeper and deeper into the wilderness, far from safety and sanity. The Kushtaka's cruelty knows no bounds. It delights in tormenting its victims, toying with them before delivering the final blow. Legends abound of encounters with the Kushtaka, each more chilling than the last. These tales have been whispered around campfires, shared in hushed tones, and passed down through generations, each retelling adding a layer of mystery and fear. One well-known tale tells of a group of fishermen who were traveling along a remote river. They were seasoned men, familiar with the dangers of the wilderness, yet nothing could have prepared them for what they were about to encounter. As night fell, the forest around them grew silent, save for the occasional rustle of leaves. Suddenly they heard the sound of someone crying for help. The voice was faint but unmistakable, cutting through the stillness of the night. Following the voice, they came across a small child sitting alone on the riverbank. The child appeared to be no more than six or seven years old, shivering and looking utterly lost. The child claimed to be lost and begged the fisherman to take him home. His voice was filled with desperation and his eyes welled up with tears, making it hard for the fisherman to refuse. The fisherman, moved by compassion, agreed to help. They lifted the child into their boat, reassuring him that they would find his home and reunite him with his family. However, as they drew closer, they noticed something strange. The child's demeanor began to change, and an unsettling feeling crept over the men. The child's eyes seemed to glow with an unnatural light, and its voice had a hollow, echoing quality. It was as if the very essence of the child had shifted, revealing something far more sinister beneath the surface. Sensing danger the fishermen pushed their boat away from the shore. Their hearts pounded as they rowed with all their might, desperate to put distance between themselves and the eerie figure. The child, its voice now a terrifying shriek, vanished into thin air. The sound echoed across the water, leaving the fishermen in stunned silence. The fishermen had narrowly escaped the clutches of the Kushtaka. They knew they had been fortunate, and the experience left them shaken to their core. This story, passed down through generations of Tlingit, is a chilling reminder of the importance of heeding the warnings of the elders. The elders' tales are not just stories, but lessons and warnings meant to protect and guide. It teaches that in the Alaskan wilderness, not every cry for help is genuine. The wilderness is a place of beauty, but also of hidden dangers, where the line between reality and the supernatural can blur. Sometimes, it is the alluring call of a monster. The Kushtaka, with its ability to mimic human voices, preys on the compassion of its victims, luring them into a trap from which few escape. This tale serves as a stark reminder to always be vigilant and to trust one's instincts when navigating the wild, untamed landscapes of Alaska. Thanks for watching Cryptids Untold. 
If you found this deep dive into the Kushtaka, the Alaskan Otterman interesting and love the unexplained as much as I do, please be sure to take two seconds of your day and subscribe to Cryptids Untold, and make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when we release more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay creepy.